What's up, Cake Drain Nation? Welcome back to the Daily Slither. I'm your host, Drake the True Snake. It's Thoughts and Tips Thursday. So, a major thing that I've noticed through movies and stories and a lot of people's videos has been superheroes. Now, I'm not just following a trend, but I thought, you know, a lot of people, one thing people haven't covered is how to be a superhero or how to create a superhero. So, here's my tips on how to create a superhero character. Now, I know I've done horror character tips, I've done basic ones, but I think this one's going to be a little extra because a lot of people are, you know, really wanting to do superhero stuff, and with Halloween right around the corner, it's a really great time to get started. So, first of all, you got to think of the name. A great name for a superhero. Um, you can base it off whatever superpowers, you can base it off whatever, uh, whatever the suit's made up, you know, you can do whatever you want. It basically is how you want to do that. Secondly, you got to do a backstory because this person is this. Make it a real person. Make this character someone that's tangible, someone that people can relate to. You know, for example, I have a character called White Tiger, who um, he worked for the zoo. He's a martial arts. He's trying to learn martial arts. Kind of a nerdy guy. He gets like scratched or attacked by this tiger who has this weird serum in its blood and he becomes he gains its strength, its speed, all that fun stuff. Similar to Spider-Man. So, as you can see, that's kind of the idea. And, you know, think of a backstory, make them, you know, make them real, make them someone people can relate to and somebody that uh, can really, that needs that help. And also, you've got to think of what their powers are. That helps with the name as well a lot of the times. But what kind of superpower do they have? Are they super strong? Can they fly? Are do they have do they, can they shoot lasers? Can they, you know, are they like Iron Man where it's like a suit? Is it uh where or do they not have superpowers and they're just a great fighter like Batman? You know, what is their power? So think about that whenever you go into it. And last but not least, you got to think of how that character looks. What does their costume look like? It, like, is it armor? Like, it's useful? Um, is it kind of flashy spandex? Is it, you know, is it something that will catch the eye and also be, you know, something that people can stand behind and is, you know, almost not really intimidating, but something that's bold? You know, because superheroes usually should be somebody bold and a symbol. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed these tips on superheroes. I've... I hope these have helped you out a little bit if you're maybe lost on what to do. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Tomorrow is Friendly Friday. <clears throat> I'm going to ha hope to have an interview ready for tomorrow. If not, I, I know what else I might do. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that. Also, I'm wanting to do a, a Cake Drain Nation Q&A for a later Cake Drain or a later Daily Slither for Friendly Friday. So let me know what you guys would like to do. Uh, put in your questions, comment here on this video, or tweet me at Drake True Snake. Use hashtag Daily Slither, and I will be and I will post. I'll answer those questions on a future video. Now I really want you guys to let me know what you guys want to know, what interests you, what could be a good video idea, because I really want this to be a fan-driven idea. Um, yes, I'll have my ideas, but I want you guys to have involvement as well. So I hope you guys are excited for that. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Peace out. Remember, peace!